One of the coolest things about Sony cameras is that you can use them as a webcam and level up your video conference calls or your live streams. And that's why in this video, I'll be showing you how you can turn your Sony camera into a webcam and the two different ways to do it as well as the best settings. So let's get into it. This video is sponsored by StreamYard. This is our go-to platform for live streaming to YouTube and Facebook, especially when we have multiple people joining us on a stream. With an incredibly easy to use interface for doing cool transitions, bringing in text on the screen, and seamlessly bringing on guests. This is the perfect platform for the new and experienced creators alike. You can use the link that we have in the description below to get $10 off. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Altakori with Think Media. And the first way that I'm going to actually go through this is through the USB option. Now, this is the cheapest way that you can actually use your Sony camera as a webcam because it just uses a USB cable. However, it doesn't work for all computer systems. And I actually wouldn't say it's the best way. I believe the best way to use your Sony camera as a webcam is using an HDMI cable. But if you wanna use the chapters, just fast forward to that point in this video. However, if you just wanna get started right away and at least try and see if your Sony will work with USB cable, you'll first need to download the Imaging Edge webcam software from Sony and we'll link it down in the description below. But once you have downloaded that, you then wanna go into your camera and specifically the type of Sony that you have, you actually wanna probably go onto the website because I can't cover them all. I need to go into menu under network and turn off control with smartphone. And then I need to go to the PC remote function and turn that on. Depending on your Sony camera, you definitely wanna check out the nuances that you need to do in menu before you actually connect it to your computer. The next step, you're gonna to wanna to connect your camera using a USB cable to your computer or laptop. Now, Sony would recommend that you put your camera in auto if you have a fairly older Sony camera. You don't need to do this. In my case, the Sony ZV-1 is considered a newer Sony camera, so I can actually put it in movie mode. The next step is to now open up whatever software you will be using your Sony as a webcam with, and in this case, I'll be opening up Zoom, and then I will change my camera source to use the Sony camera that I have plugged in, and then you should be good to go and ready to stand out in your video conferencing calls. Now, if you did all this and it didn't quite work, maybe you wanna go through that page and check out some of the troubleshooting recommendations that Sony offers. It might just be that your computer may not work with the Sony software, which uh, brings me to the second portion, which is using your Sony camera with an HDMI cable. However, there are some settings you need to lock in in the menu in order to make that correct. So put your Sony camera in video mode and then go into the menu and then go over to the toolbox icon that you see on the top of your menu and then find where it says HDMI settings. On my camera, it's on page three but just scroll until you see HDMI settings. If you need to pause the video, pause the video, and then select HDMI settings, and then change your HDMI resolution to 1080p. Then you're gonna change your info display from on to off, keep TC output off, and control from HDMI off as well. And now you're ready to plug in your camera using an HDMI cable and a capture card. Now it is important to note that you do need a capture card and simply what this does is it turns an HDMI cable into a USB cable, but you can't just use some regular dongle, you know, with your MacBook Pro or something. You actually need an actual capture card and we'll post our best recommended capture cards down in the description below. And uh, honestly, you don't need an expensive one. I think the one that we like always fluctuates around 20 bucks and then the HDMI cable is usually around $10. So for $30, you're definitely leveling up your video conference calls and live streams, which is pretty sweet. So now once you have plugged in your camera using the capture card, you can open up whatever software or platform that you're gonna use to use as a webcam or live stream. In this case, I'll use Zoom and then select the capture card as my input for my video. And there you have it. Your Sony is now your webcam and you can look stupid fresh in front of everybody. A couple additional hacks that you may not know about is you can actually plug an audio solution like a shotgun mic or a, la uh, a lavalier or lapel mic into your Sony camera and select as your audio source the capture card as well. And this is a cool way to simplify your audio solution. And then the next hack I would encourage you to go with is actually to invest into a continuous power adapter that'll allow you to not worry about battery as you leave your camera on. You don't need to hit record while you're using this as a webcam. However, not worrying about your battery dying while you're on a live stream or you're on a Zoom call or something is pretty convenient and I think necessary. Now, I hope you got value in this video, but if you wanna learn the best settings to set up your camera so that you you know don't have to leave it on audio but you can actually lock it in and get blurry background and have the settings all dialed. You can click or tap the screen and I can't wait to see you in a future video. 
Peace. Thank you.